Hello, welcome to Hearthstone. My daily quests are for Hunter, so unfortunately I'm going to be playing an aggro hunter. Because, you know, everyone everyone hates that. I, almost, I thought I quick click solo adventures. Man. Honestly, I really don't like aggro that much in pretty much any card game. Like, I, I don't like it in what I tried to Magic Gathering, even though that's not my favorite card game. Uh, Infinity Wards, I tried playing aggro, you just feel like... It just feels awful. I guess it, I, I like it kind of in Yu-Gi-Oh a bit, if I try it. But I I not I don't really identify decks so much in Yu-Gi-Oh as compared to this, because the game plays kind of differently in a lot of different ways. Either way, like, I, I always feel like aggro, if you win, it's like, okay, you did it. And if you lose, you're like, well, you're... You just feel like a jackass, just playing, just like trying to struggle against them where they clearly have the advantage. I'm keeping this hand. Greetings, traveler. Um, I'm gonna get this out. Because if I coin this out next turn, I'm gonna have just Leprinome to play. And that's not good value. Armor made to fit. Okay. Let's see what we get. Best case scenario is Misha. Okay. Nah, I don't think I should have played Knife Trigger. I, I think that that was the right play. Especially on the risk on the chance that it's Misha. Or even if the chance that it's Hopper, I could hit her. I hope I get a one drop so I can hero power. The thing is, I think I'll have to trade this. Just because I don't want it giving him armor for no reason. I think I'm gonna have to do that. And I can't play anything else because the Harvest Golem's there at the moment. So that's a good play for right now. I do know, I do recognize, I'm not one of those people that thinks that uh, playing an aggro deck just means that you're awful, or you don't know how to play the game, or you're just trying to get easy wins or whatever. I legitimately know that aggro decks take work to to do, it's just, it's not exactly the work that everyone generally goes. To play in decks like control decks or whatever, you have to think about what you're doing and how to keep turns efficient and stuff like that. But aggro decks, you need to think about what your opponent might have in this certain scenario, and evaluate that on how you're going to play things out. I'm gonna hero power here. Kinda of bad with them, but I wanted to play the hero power. I don't really see much Silent Knight. Hmm. I think the bonus chest has probably been one of the better things for Hearthstone's, like, gameplay health. Because honestly, there was so much... There was like no variance. Like, people using Cleave and Silent Knight, stuff like that. Before, there was just like no variance in how people were playing. There was just always people at like maximum rank or whatever. Or, or that's not, what am I talking about? There's like a bunch of net decks at level 20, and then everything else is like a, a jump to get to places. That's what I'm talking about. I would really like to have a secret. Hmm. I think I'll drop this. I don't feel like I'm going to get a secret pretty soon. And either way, I have a second bow. Just need him to play, like, another minion or two. That isn't taunt. This isn't the type of deck I feel, like, skillful winning with, though. As you can imagine. Because I don't personally know very much about this. Gore Howl. Wait, you're just gonna hit? Okay. Wait, whoa, what? Okay, we're getting, like, counter-faced, apparently. I think I need to just throw this out here. Next turn, so I can spend four mana next turn, so I can't play Quick Shot and get its extra effect next turn. But I can still play Quick Shot.
I hope he plays something that summons another thing. Like, just two, like, double, uh... What, am I, what is that thing? The two, three that summons a boar. I wonder... Like, oh my, Razorfin Hunter, yes. That's it. What do we get? Iron Beak Owl. Not very useful. In this certain scenario. He used Gorhal, I'm not sure if he can kill me right now. And I'm just gonna hero power, because I can save quick shot. Here comes the moment of truth. Do I die this turn? I could. There's a lot of things that could kill me right now. Things that warriors don't generally run, but this dude is showing a, a liking for cards that don't... Oh. Okay. It's not so bad. Because this guy can't actually attack. If it was the wolf, it, if it was the dog, I actually would be in a bit more trouble. Ah, uh, he's trading. Alright. So I have a few chances at a win here. Fiery War Axe, huh? Animal Chimpanion? Huffer! I'm not BMing. I'd just be stupid. That's the one thing I don't get though. People that play this deck and act like they're the coolest person ever when they win a game. And they BM. Nah, I'm just playing for the... Like, it's it's generally fun. I mean, it's a video game. And it's entertaining. But, uh... I don't... I play Face Hunter if I really just want to, like, win or get whatever going. Not that this has an incredibly high win rate. I do generally control prefer control in a lot of cases. I always like building things up. That's how I'd play like every StarCraft 2 campaign. Every StarCraft 1 campaign, I just, you just want to build up a ton of stuff. You don't want to like early push or whatever. Let's swap these out. We don't really need the spells. I guess we need that spell. It's looking like turn 1 Lepronome, turn 2 Shoot Arrow. Hmm. Now, the choice between Shoot Arrow and Worgen Infiltrator. I don't know. That means I'd have to play it around turn 4. It's not even a beast. Wow, the coin dude. Knife Juggler is a good play versus this, though. So we hit him, and it's gonna deal 4 damage to him. Considering. Well, the Leopard on total is gonna deal 4 damage to him. He's already coined. There's another dude coming out. That's two dudes so far. Get in there and fight. Maggot? Perfect. I'm getting lucky, you know. I'm not that great. I just got lucky there. Now turn 4 is probably going to be these two, because it equals out the 4 mana. Unless I draw another 3 mana, that would be good. I'm not calling GG quite yet. Even if it's like something, I'm not going to trade. Yeah, well. I'm not going to trade, I'm just going to go straight for face. So next I can do 5 more damage, so I just need 3 damage on the board to win next turn. He got. He's got eight cards in his hand. He's gonna have something. Equality. I'll never secret keeper. Huh. And a secret. Probably get down. First. Oh, it's not. Okay. Well. 
That's rank 14. Got some gold there. Does that actually rank up my thing bit by bit? My chest? Oh, it goes straight to 14 after. So apparently after you hit 15, it goes up every level instead. I'll do one more. Fairly short game so far. That's also a really good reason that people play Face Hunter, though. The games are quality to just... The games go really fast. Jesus, when I talk on this recording sometimes, I just spout random bullshit. Okay, no thank you. Good to see you again on the first turn again, Leprinel. Oh! <laughs> okay. I just cracked my knuckle into the microphone. It's probably terrible for someone. Hello. Let's play this. Got a pretty good turn two. And that's technically a turn. I guess this is a turn three. I could think this out before I draw my next card and it changes my decision. Hey, what's he doing? Oh, wow. He doesn't want any of what I'm selling. I'll play, I'll play on a creeper. If he trades it, I get two more damage. Oh, the ghoul. Let's see. Misha. Okay. I think it's a good time to hit that. Because when, if that hits Misha and explodes, I get the two guys then. And ideally, I want to have two guys. He can take out Misha this turn, but it'll clear his board and leave me with two 1-1s. One -ones. Leave me with decision next turn, or probably Leper Gnome Arrow, unless I get a 2-drop. Hmm. Okay, he's got the War Axe. Inner Rage. What sucks about this is that my dude was played first, so his death row is going to go off before his does. Brave Archer. Hmm. This is a beast. Can I do anything with that, though? I guess I should just silence this, honestly. From what I've seen, it's silence taunt, and that is a taunt. Although the animal companion last turn was too good not to play. It's definitely Patron Warrior, though. I, I recognize these signs. Oh, that's that's like almost the Patron Warrior I found. All these decks I like, take from online anyway. Like, everyone does that. It's something you have to do. Except for this. This was Leroy Jenkins in the in the deck suggestions. But I uh, disenchanted him after Miracle Rogue went bust. So... I don't really have that anymore. Let's just take these out. Hit him. He's at 14, but a warrior can gain a lot of health in one turn. I mean, this turn he can gain 7 with shield, of, uh, shield block. Alright. Yeah, there it is. There's a shield block. Might actually be able to get to use Brave Archer. Never seen that used before. Actually, never. don't think I ever. Battle Rage. Alright, he's getting the draws. Using Kill Command here isn't actually kind of bad if I use the Trigger Brave Archer's effect. Arcane Golem, though. I don't think I want to play Brave Archer. Because I want to kind of surprise him with its Battle Cry. Or not Battle Cry, its Inspire effect. I like Inspire as a general concept, though. I think it's a cool idea. Alright, that's a fairly slow turn for him. I wonder what could win me the game right now. An explosive trap is nice to play. Can I play this with everything and get Brave Archer's effect? I don't think so. No, I cannot. The thing is, he doesn't have his pat his warrior patrons just yet. Oh no, I just played explosive trap though. What if he were wins? It'll take them down to two HP. Are you just gonna trigger the explosive trap? 
Next turn, I'm hoping to grab a Haunted Creeper or something like that. It's just so I could play it, have a beast thing, kill command with Brave Archer. What is he throwing down, though? I could die this turn. That's a possibility. Although, I don't think that that ghoul can die. Although, no, no damage I'm doing here actually is. like. attack damage. It's. all the stuff I have is, like, spell damage. This is definitely the do or die turn, though. So, if I grab the perfect thing, I think I'll actually be able to kill him, so I need a beast. Mad scientist. I think you need to go. Does he, though? Hmm. I see four damage to him. I'm probably gonna lose this next turn. Okay, that's actually what it looks like. Yeah, if I just drawn that beast, if you were just a beast, why don't you have, like, more hair? Jesus. Here comes the patron or something like that. The patron. Oh! That is like a big grim patron, alright. Oh man, if I just, uh. kill him and hit him. Nah, he wouldn't have to do it anyway. So can you, like, get the explosive trap and then hit him with it when he attacked me and win the game? Oh, play. Either way, I got a pack I can buy, so I'll, I might as well just do that for the end of the video. Let's grab. Let's back up. Oh, it's got another one. Who we at? Okay. I'm not playing Priest or Warlock, probably. Those, that'll get rerolled tomorrow. We get. Let's go! No, I like good stuff. Actually, I like Murloc Knight. That's cool. Demon Fuse. <laughs> when will this card ever be used? Cheese. Oh well. Let's see, do we have any of those cards? I just get rid of Demon Fuse. Honestly. Get out of here. No, I didn't want to create that! Undo! Thank God for that feature. Why would I ever want that card? 3-3, three, three, give your opponent a mana crystal. Guy's pretty good in a priest deck. I don't have Blackrock Mountain fully unlocked though. So many mage spell damage cards, but mages aren't actually that great with spell damage, as it turns out. And that one's actually, I like that one. Either way, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. And I'll see you next time.